Hi smelly people, welcome back to this fragrant little corner called My World of Fragrance. Today we are tackling citrus perfumes. And I feel like I often don't talk about citric fragrances because they often are fleeting. Citrus notes in a perfume are often used as top notes and they disappear quickly. So, you know, the fragrance is often a short pleasure. So just keep that in mind that the more realistic a citrus is going to be, the lemons, the bergamots, all of that, the more likely that they are going to disappear quickly. And then often if you have citric fragrances that last a long time, they often are more on the synthetic side. So they don't get, you know, you don't get that fresh citrus sense in the same way. So it's kind of like taking a compromise. If you want a long lasting fragrance that is citric, it's not going to smell as natural. If you want a natural smelling citric fragrance, it will often not last as long. But I digress. Let us talk about the straightforward lemon citrus fragrances to begin with. I'm going to talk about Diorum Cologne, which is you know, a masculine targeted fragrance, but it does not matter. This is completely, completely unisex. Since when is a lemon either for a man or for a woman? It just does not make sense. If you want to smell like lemons, it has nothing to do with your gender whatsoever. This one is a really great go-to. It is very fleeting, like I mentioned, because it smells so lovely and soft and realistic and dries down soft musky with the citruses. I do not reach for this one very often also because it is very fleeting, but if you are looking for that quick injection of a nice citrus, mm, refreshing on a hot summer day, this is one that you definitely should throw in your bag so that you can top it up during the day. And it's just a great go-to citrus fragrance cologne that I would recommend to absolutely anyone who would like to smell like some nice lemons in the shade. I would like to bring the brand Floris London to your attention if you are looking for a citrus fragrance. This is a really nice old school house and the one that I have here is German Street. This is more of a sharp citrus that also incorporates some of those fougere herbal qualities into it. But also there's one called Lime from uh, Floris London which is a really lovely realistic citric fragrance with some linden blossom in there as well. Um, and these I would say last slightly more than the Dior Homme Cologne, <laughs> but still, if you want that realistic citrus, you will most of the time have to compromise a little bit. But Floris does some amazingly classic scents and they definitely do some good citrus fragrances. Also Floris for an uncommercial brand is quite reasonably priced. So that's another thing that's amazing about them. The next fragrance is probably the first full-on citric fragrance that I ever bought. It is Versace Versense. Isn't it called Versense? Yeah, it's called Versense. I haven't reached for it for a while, but this is probably like my sixth bottle or something of this fragrance. This is a nice, cute 30 ml. It's affordable. The reason why I gravitated towards this fragrance was because I was looking for a citrus fragrance and this one is marketed towards women but I didn't want to smell like uh, syrupy sweet or anything like that. I just wanted straightforward citruses. This is citruses with woods. And the reason why I liked it is because it is definitely unisex. It smelled slightly masculine. The sales associate was telling me, yeah, this one smells a little bit manly. I was like, does it really? Like it just smells like citruses with slight woods. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I think that this one is a great bang for your buck fragrance. I, whenever I see it on discount or whatever, I like to wear it. I also got my mom onto this one and that just shows you that, you know, even a woman who usually goes for classically feminine fragrances can pull this one off easily. It dries down musky and beautiful. It has a nice projection as well, I find and um, has always been kind of a compliment getter. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one is a really nice go-to citrus for me. I pack this one with me every time I go on holiday and I don't have to think too much about it. A no-brainer citric fragrance. The next fragrance that I absolutely love is from the house of Lubin. It is called Gin Fizz. And this is an effervescent, fizzy, gin tonic type of drink. It is bergamot with those realistic citruses that are kind of fizzly and sparkling and then with juniper berry as well which is what is in gin so this one is so realistic and delicious we can't keep that sparkliness all throughout the fragrance is there in the beginning in the mid and then it dries down slightly irisy leathery which is very classy and cool 
um, but this one is an awesome one from Lubin. Now I'm going to talk about citric fragrances that incorporate Ambroxan because Ambroxan just really helps cut through the high heat. I know some people aren't, you know, super fans of these types of uh, aroma chemicals, but there are a lot of other people who do enjoy them. And Cousin Flora by Penhaligans has it. This is a lovely citrus fragrance that dries down musky and approachable. It, it kind of has that clean laundry musky dry down and then with a lot of ambroxan in it as well, which makes it, you know, project nicely, swoosh around when you move your garments. Um, and this one is, yeah, it's just one of those no brainer. I feel like citrus in general are just like no brainer fragrances. They're inoffensive. Unless you're wearing something that smells like actual like toilet cleaner detergent, which some fragrances on the market do, they just go overboard. If you choose a nice, light, realistic citric fragrance, then no one is going to be bothered whatsoever. And Cousin Flora is one of those. So the power of Ambroxan, as you may or may not know, really helps to enhance your scent and then other people smell it more and then you often will get more compliments. So if you are looking for more compliments with your citrus fragrances, I would recommend using an eccentric molecule to layer with or on its own. This one, it says that there are floral elements in this fragrance in the notes list, but I do not get any florals. To me, this is citrus woody. And yeah, I think that maybe perhaps people read the notes list and they expect one thing and then they get disappointed when they actually try it. So the ratings for this one aren't super high, but if you walk into it knowing that it's sort of, you know, that sharp citrusy with woody elements, then you might actually like the fragrance. So try this one out, Eccentric 2, Eccentric 1 or Molecule 1, and all of those are super popular, but basically it's a non-perfume, it is affordably priced, and it is one that just stays on your clothes. And even you will stop smelling the fragrance, but as you move, other people will smell the fragrance. So it definitely is one of those you know things that you wear knowing that people around you are going to smell you and appreciate, so. Eccentric 2. Now I'm going to talk about a classic aromatic citric fragrance and it is Jiki by Guerlain. This is, you know, one of the historical perfumes out there and this is interesting if you want to smell um, a little bit more elevated. So you don't just smell like citruses but you also have this old world charm to you. Um, if you like fragrances like Pour Monsieur by Chanel, if you like to have um, some barbershop quality to your fragrance that is citric, smell a little bit soapy and just upscale, then definitely try out Jiki. And I love that old world vibe. It's not for everyone, but if you do love that, then definitely check that one out. Now we have a fragrance that's kind of a wild card that I've kind of just thrown in here because I don't know, I don't like things to get too redundant. And so I've thrown in a rhubarb because if you're looking for a fresh citric fragrance, you absolutely might want a lovely drink of rhubarb. It is Eau de Rhubarb Ecarlate by Hermes. This is my favorite rhubarb fragrance that I've been able to find so far. I also want to try the Zoo's Rhubarb, my love. Can you please let me know if you've tried it, if that is also equally fresh or like comparable to this fragrance? But those are so hard to find. Hermes is widely available and distributed, and this is just a delicious rhubarb drink. So refreshing, um, slightly sweet because rhubarb is, so it's a really nice realistic take on it. No, it does not last, you know, forever and ever, but that's okay for me. This is a nice replenishing type of fragrance that I like to wear in the summertime. If you like to wear things like DNG L'Imperatrice, then this is like an upgrade from that fragrance. It is, yeah, it is just so mouthwateringly realistic and fresh and delicious. Next, we have a fragrance that plays on the fig notes. It is Ninfeo Mio by Gutal. Gutal is probably my number one citric fresh fragrance brand. They also do other genres as well, but I think that they really do fresh fragrances so beautifully because they stand out. They're each unique in their own way. They're famous for Eau d'Adrien. They're famous for so many other citric fragrances. Ninfeo Mio, I wanted to bring to your attention because I feel like it does not get enough credit. This is inspired by the gardens in Rome, the Ninfeo Gardens, and it's, you know, my nymph is the, what the name is. So it's just this interesting fig with citrus elements and green 
It's got the bite from galbanum and bitter orange, and then it's also woody. So this one I find to be an interesting take on a fresh fragrance that is not just uh, citruses. So check that one out. Next, we've got a fragrance that is more obviously green, and it is based on the ivy note. I feel like ivy is not spoken about enough because it is interesting. It's like a nice alternative to a sharp uh, citrus again. This is called Edera, and it is from L'Herbolario, which is a again another you know pretty um, affordable brand that's Italian. So this has that ivy leaf in the center. If you like fragrances like Audelière by Diptyque, that's another great ivy fragrance. Um, but this one I just really love, you know, because I love my green fragrances and sometimes old school green fragrances or full on green fragrances can be too much in the high, high heat and humidity. But this one I feel like I can get away with. So check this one out and check out Le Bolario in general. If you can get a hold of them, they're all over Italy, but I'm not sure about the rest of the world, but try to find them. <laughs> then it wouldn't be a fresh fragrance video without Acqua di Parma. The kings of <laughs> fresh fragrances for most people. I just said that Gutal is my go-to. Acqua di Parma, I would say, is like a close second. And the one I wanted to talk about is Magnolia Nobile because I feel like it does not get, you know, very many mentions. This is a nice citrus with that floral element of magnolia. Um, I also really love the latest um, La Spugnatura. It's like the limited edition fragrance that they've released. Ooh, that is really thirst quenching citruses. It comes in this beautiful ceramic limited edition bottle. So check that one out as well if you haven't already. But Magnolia Nobile is for you people out there who normally wear florals and who would maybe like to incorporate a little bit of citrus in your life, then check this one out. Now we have another citrusy floral. It is from Frasai, which is an amazing fragrance house. They do great signature scents, if you ask me. I have a little decant thing um, from this subscription service called Huha and it's called Verano Porteño. This is a fresh citrusy jasmine with some other floral aspects, but it's definitely more the jasmine that you feel in this one. It is beautiful. There's also a bit of magnolia in this one. So magnolia and citruses go very well together, but um, this is not, you know, a straightforward heady jasmine. It's like a nice flutter of jasmine amongst the citrus and the clementine and it dries down with uh, ambrettes so it has a lovely approachable sweetness to it that I feel like most people who enjoy florals men or women would enjoy this one so lastly we have a fragrance from Serge Luton's good old Uncle Serge this is De Cru pour une Pellure it is based on Christmas and like cloves and oranges but and this line in general you all need to check out if you are interested in lovely effervescent fresh fragrances like these square bottles specifically are all lovely fresher fragrances and this one i just like was enamored by when i was trying i bought this one last year and it just to me smells like an aperol spritz so that campari drink with the bitter orange in it and so if you love that, then you are probably gonna love the smell of this. It is very linear though, so you get that scent throughout the whole thing. It's not like it develops and changes very much. It is to me just Aperon Spritz <laughs> sprayed on my body. Um, I don't think that it dyes your clothes or anything, so no need to worry too much about that. But yeah, it's an interesting one. It has the cloves and nutmeg, and then it has the citrus. Like I just feel the citrus rind, the citrus peel, that's thrown into a fizzy tonic and it's really refreshing. It's a fun, interesting uh, fragrance for me. And yeah, I love it for that reason. I love the fun of this fragrance. And that's it for today. I have loads of others <laughs> that I could go on and on about, but I know that people's attention spans are not very long. So let us cut it here today. And I hope that you found some interesting fragrances that you would like to try out after this video. Let me know how you feel about citrus fragrances and I will catch you in my next review. Bye.